how we watch video. This is something that I wish somebody would have told me 15 years ago, but never ever watch video of your opponent without looking at their stats first. I just think this is great advice. We all have access to stats. So on Saturday morning when your game is over with, don't just start watching that video. Get the newspaper out, get online, whatever you got to do. But before you start watching this, uh, your opponent, you need to find out who their leading receiver is. You need to find out who their leading rusher is. You need to find out who their leading. It's a little bit harder to find defensive stats, but you find as much information as you can out before you start watching video. I think it's a, uh, a great point to remember. So here's how we do it on Saturday morning. We're going to watch video. We're going to grade. We're going to meet uh, as a staff. We meet here at 8 o'clock, and we're going to go 15 minutes offense, defense. Everybody's in the room together, and we're going to watch special teams for about 15 minutes. And we all coach special teams in some form, so we all watch it together. Uh, it's a big deal. So after 15 minutes, we're going to split up, and we're going to grade film. We used to do it like most people do it. We'd watch film together as a staff, and then we'd split. We're, I want my guys to split up. I want them to grade film for an hour, and then I want to come together as an offensive staff, and then when we watch this film together as an offensive staff, they have a lot better idea of what their guys have done. They can answer my questions a lot better. Um, just when we reversed this a couple of years ago, I think it's been a good deal. I encourage you to let your guys grade if you're going to, even if they're not going to grade, just let them go watch the film on their own. Just let them go digest what, what their receiver did or what their, what their offensive lineman, you know, th there's a guy you're not sure about. Let them go watch it. And then when you come together as a group, they can all just talk about it so much uh, more educationally and, and just so much informatively. So the one thing when we do grade film, we think this is a huge deal. We grade finish. We, we have great technique also, but we're going to grade finish for, first and foremost. It just has to happen with the finish. Three things can happen on finish, and that's, that's when the whistle blows. We, we're going to stop the, the, the film, and we're going to determine when the whistle blows. And either, either they have two hands on a defender, or they're chasing a defender, or they're loafing. And that's the only three things it can be. There's not a lot of gray area there. And uh, we really do a great job of that. We also grade technique in a in a three two one zero format, and so uh, but we grade practice every day, and we grade finish. We grade technique also for the game. So here's a here's a sheet that we use right here. Uh, it's how we organized, it. and it took us a little bit to come up with this. I really like how it ended up. So what I'll do is I'll get on huddle, and I'm going to type all these plays in first where I'm not doing that. So all these plays will come in first and then I'll just come over here and I can just write down all this. I'll make notes. Uh, I'm, I'm the tight end coach. And uh, this form, I really honestly didn't realize it wasn't totally finished when I did this, but uh, we will give them a numeric grade on effort and we'll give them a numeric grade on assignment. What we watch for when we study our opponent. Again, Really, this is hard. This is stuff that you just don't find in a book. You don't find on videos. So I'm, uh, I think this is a really neat topic to talk about. We're going to talk about how do they align to our formations. First and foremost, we want to know when we get in trips, what's their adjustment to trips? What, what, and we always, here's how we think. On Saturday, we want to be the defensive coordinator. And we want to, if we're going to interview for a defensive coordinator's job for our opponent, we're trying to find out as much as we can where we could interview as a defensive coordinator. So on Saturday, we're trying to figure out the structure of their defense, how they align to our formations, and then on Sunday, we're going to come back and try to defeat that coordinator and how we can attack him. So we're going to say, how do they align to our formations? Again, all of our base formations, alignment, alignment, alignment. Then we're going to get into personnel. Who, are th who is their best defender overall? Who is the one guy on their defense that we know we have to block? Who is their best defensive lineman? That, that, that's, that's the big deal for us is can we protect our quarterback? Can we block at the point of attack? Who's their worst defensive lineman? Who's the guy that, that we need to pick on? Um, who's their best and worst in the secondary? So we've just learned, I, I, just, I just think guys, don't, don't, don't give these guys too much credit. If, uh, if they're bad on film, they're going to be bad when they play you. 
and I think you just pick on them over and over again. They're not going to get better during the game. So we want to know who can beat us if we don't take care of them and who should we be attacking. Uh, but first of all, it's, it's formations and then we go into personnel.